I will show you how to turn $80 into $4,000 by doing a real size sculpture. Use low cost materials and turn them into high value art. Don't you think it is possible? Well, watch the entire video and you will understand how to make this happen. I will break it down into just 8 steps. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of turning simple materials into a gold mine. The essential materials required for your masterpiece creating your own durable and affordable clay, techniques for providing finishes that will make your sculpture stand out, tricks that will transform your idea into a tangible piece. I've made many sculptures and generated substantial income doing so. I hope my knowledge serves you well. The materials we will be using include joint compound, polyurethane foam, tape, aluminum foil, wood, scrolls, sandpaper, white glue, polyurethane glue, paint. You can find those materials at any construction store. The steps we will be following are planning, sketching, plans, construction of the internal structure, adding volume, defining shapes and details, final touches, and finally, promotion and sales. Planning. First, you have to find a concept. The concept is a tangible representation of an idea. From something as simple as replicating the David statue to a concept like Mario Bros. Universe. To find inspiration, explore various artists' works and techniques. If you need models, you can search online or conduct your own photo sessions to have models and poses just as you imagine. If you make photo sessions, make sure to have many angles and try to use 50mm lens. Set up your workspace, keep all tools within reach, and protect work areas. Creating a life-size sculpture becomes much simpler with detailed planning, much like an architect designing blueprints before construction. Logic and creativity are essentials in achieving a quality product. Remember, if you want to sell a sculpture, it has to have good quality. Creating a life-size sculpture isn't costly in terms of materials, but it does require time and patience. Sketching Remember, on paper you can express any idea, no matter how outlandish, don't limit yourself. Let your imagination run the while, adding or removing materials, colors and more. Create the sketches representing different views, front, side, top, etc. This way, you will see if your plans will yield results. Research a bit online about how muscles function and the different volumes of human body. Keep in mind that the skin tones can sometimes confuse us in terms of volumes and measurements, so it's better to use monochromatic sketches. Once your ideas are clear in the sketches, transfer them neatly and start creating technical drawings. Plans This phase requires clarity and detail in the plans. Take your time to draw all the details and get every single measurement. Create plans for the internal structure, volume addition and final details. You can use 3D modeling tools it will be much easier to have different angles without the distortion that camera lenses gives. Like an architect's comprehensible house designs, your drawings should reflect all necessary measurements. Although defining precise measurements for organic shapes of the human body is challenging, establishing measures for more geometric body ensures correct proportions. In the end, it will be your patient to achieve those small organic details that define the human body. Making these plans will help you to sculpt much faster and more accurately. This is extremely necessary. Internal structure. Build a strong structure using wood, costing approximately $15. Use scrolls to secure the joints. The internal structure must be very strong to support the weight and prevent the sculpture from deforming. Metal or thick, rich wire can also be used. This structure acts like bones, supporting the entire weight of the sculpture. Take your time to position them correctly following your plans. 
use wire for the hands. Any mistake in this stage can result in a deformed sculpture. Always double check plans and measurements. Laser tools and reference points can help to have more precision. Once the internal structure is set, start providing it with volume. Adding volume. Use aluminum foil, polystyrene foam or plastic. Keep in mind that the materials you use should be lightweight but sturdy. The volume should be at least one centimeter smaller than the other layer. But don't use this on the hands. The fingers are delicate and it's better to make them solid. Once you have the internal structure and apply the correct volume, the most challenging stage arrives where you bring the sculpture to life. To make the clay stronger, mix one part of cellulose fiber, three parts of joint compound, one part of wire, a spoon of sugar, and one part of cement. Mix these elements to obtain moldable clay. The goal here is to make it consistent, not too watery, as it will be difficult to hold its position, and not too dry, as you won't be able to shape it. Start applying the material and shaping it. You can use spatulas for your hands, but use gloves to protect your skin. Smooth the material with a brush and water, defining shapes and details. For the face, consider using oil-based or wire-based clay and creating a silicone mold to accelerate the process. Also, this might increase your budget. Once the material is dry, sand it to achieve the desired texture and shape. Always use protective gear to avoid respiratory issues. Use carving tools to add necessary details such as hair grubs, fingers wrinkles, nails, veins, etc. Always visualize your sculpture from different angles, as sometimes our perspective can lead to errors. Every time you apply more material, take a step back and verify that it matches your plans. Final touches. Eventually, you will have something resembling this. Your sculpture has finally taken shape, and now it's time for the finishing touches. Here is where you can let your imagination run wild. The possibilities are endless. But remember, your sculpture is meant to generate income, so you must understand that people have different tastes. Therefore, my recommendation is to go for something minimalistic with neutral colors. Highlight details that give your sculpture that unique, personal touch. For example, I use acrylic chalk paint and I gave it highlights with iridescent colors. Also, in some parts, I apply golden leaves. As you can see here, my sculpture has a dragonfly with a skull face, with wings that shifts the colors. These little details gives the sculpture a distinctive style. This way, we transform affordable materials into an art piece. Promotion and sales. If you are a beginner in the world of sculpture, perhaps you can start easier until you understand this technique. Horses and lions are much easier to model and are highly valued animals on the art market. Create a series of sculptures with this technique. Take pictures of your sculpture and display your art in restaurants, hotels or other places where many people gather. You can sell your sculpture directly or exhibit them in these places for sale. Post pictures of your sculpture on social media too and never give up. If you found this content useful, consider becoming a member of my channel. Thanks for watching.